This is the first of three after course coaching sessions following your completion of the Gold Key Release course. And these three sessions will be addressing using the Gold Key Release in your life, getting the intended result, either you did or you didn't, and the third is burn off. Today's session will be about using the gold key release in your life. Let's get started. Using the gold key release in your life. Well, to be able to use the gold key release in your life, the first thing that has to happen is that it has to occur to you to use it. Now, I'm well aware that the heaviness of life can at times bury us so that the only thing we have going is the situation and our reaction to it. And we may not have the presence of mind to think, oh, I could use the gold key release on this. However, with a bit of practice and familiarity, it will occur to you more frequently to use the gold key release when you feel stuck in a situation. Now, the second item having to do with using the gold key release in your life is knowing how to choose the item you put through the gold key release. The general rule of thumb is, if it bothers you, it's a good candidate for running through the gold key release. Another option, is when you have a project or undertaking or something new that you're getting involved with, you may use that item through the gold key release to clear the way for that item to go more the way you would like it to go. Now, you may feel you don't know how to choose an item. And I've said if it bothers you, that's a good item. But the next step is to get a feeling for that item. It's one thing to remember it, to remember the words for it, and another thing to remember the feeling experience of it. So that's what we're going for in beginning the gold key release. It's a direct feeling experience of the item that you want to either resolve or dissolve. And once you've selected the item and you've gotten a feeling for it, then you're in a position to give a word label to it, which you will use throughout the gold key release. In general, you choose some word or combination of words, very brief, that reminds you enough of what it feels like to have that item that you can run it through the gold key release. So for example, Let's say that you have concerns about money. You're feeling anxious about money. Well, there are a couple of ways that you might go with that. One is to address the feeling itself, anxiety. And the other would be to address the topic money. If you address the topic money, you're focusing more exactly on the item that you need to dissolve or resolve. If you choose the word anxiety, even anxiety about money, you're choosing a broader category. Now there's an advantage to choosing a broader category, and that is that every, every area in your life that's related to that category, in this case, the example being say anxiety, will be affected. However, it requires a deeper capacity for feeling in you and it requires a kind of determination in you that's uh, more comprehensive. It's not as simple as dealing with a single item. So although it's good to choose a general category, I think it's better left until you're more experienced and able with the gold key release. In the beginning, choose wording that pertains to a single situation. This is for the sake of getting practice and results. So you would then choose that item. You would give it a name and use that name 
throughout the gold key release. So it would be something like, if money is your issue, feel what you feel about money. Notice where you feel that in you. Notice its general size and shape, its intensity, and so on. So you see how we began that by using the label for the issue itself, what you feel about money. It's always about the feeling, not about the words. Likewise, if you're considering, let's say, buying a new car, purely arbitrary, buying a new car, there's a certain feeling you have about buying a new car. All your considerations about it, cost and the kind of car and many other factors. But basically, buying a new car encompasses all of that. So then you would go, notice what buying a new car feels like. Notice what it feels like to have that. Notice where you feel it in you, and so forth. So this is not an item that you particularly want to dissolve, but an item you want to clarify. And you can use the gold key release to clarify things in advance. Now, the third possible category is choosing items based on thoughts. Thoughts you may have about it, advice from others, anything that is other than the direct feeling you have about the item. So if you were to choose the item about buying a new car and someone told you that BMW is a good make, well, that's all fine, except that you, unless you have a strong feeling about it, are going with an item that doesn't have a lot of intensity, a lot of feeling. And those are difficult to work with. Always choose something that has a substantial charge or a st substantial degree of intensity, as more intense items are easier to work through the gold key release than lightweight items. So my general advice to you is choose something weighty, not something lightweight. Now, the fourth item that may have to do with using the gold key release in your life and perhaps uh, lack of confidence in doing so has to do with your proficiency or ability at doing the gold key release. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips right here. First thing is, if you're very vague about it, go back to the replays or to the coaching page that I've set up for the gold key release and let the coaching I gave you in recorded form step you through it. If you're listening to recordings from the course, stop the playback long enough to do the step before restarting. The second thing is, keep your mind on the topic you're working with. Don't let yourself get be, uh, distracted you start thinking about something else, go back to the original item and use the exact same wording. If you experiment with doing the exact same wording and experiment with doing slightly different wording, you'll notice that even slight differences of wording feel different. They take you off target. So stay with the original wording and the original item from beginning to end and carry the feeling that you get at each step into the next step of the gold key release. So that covers the questions of using the gold key release in your life. Get some practice with it. Choose difficult situations or difficult matters as a way of making it easier for yourself. Now, just a little word about that. You may need to do more cycles with difficult items. 
And I'll touch upon that question in a later post-course coaching video. So that's all for now. Pleased you came to listen and see.